Well, good morning. It is Sunday, March 22nd. And all everybody's talking about and all everybody's thinking about, including myself, is the coronavirus right now. Uh, I hate even recording anything about it because it's just like... I'd say it's like such an inconvenience, I mean, it's a huge inconvenience, it's a huge change in, in everything, I mean, the whole world is just like shut down economically right now, it's just crazy, I mean, this this all happened this week, but since I'm just now bothering to make a recording about it, like, uh, all restaurants and bars closed on Wednesdays, so, I mean, that's pretty crazy, I mean, made sense, you know, Wednesday was St. Patrick's Day, so since, you know, they knew everybody was going to be stupid and drunk and go out and socialize they like were like well we're gonna protect everybody and close all the bars so they did so that like really affected katie's income and then um at slumberland we have reduced hours now reduced hours of operation so uh, uh you know weekdays were open 10 to 7 instead of our normal 10 to 9 Saturdays were 10 to 6 instead of our 10 to 8 and then today is a Sunday and we're open 11 to 5 instead of the normal 11 to 6 um, And you know like you know just flip of the coin you know like I, those are like the hours I've always wanted for working at Slumberland because I mean who wouldn't want those hours like that's those are some great hours that you know allow you time to be home with family and everything and uh, that is the plus side of all of this is I'm certainly being allowed, there's more opportunity to spend at home with Katie and Lily, family time, so I mean that brings some joy, that brings some stress, um, honestly like the selfish bones in my body just want to like go camping and unplug for a few days right now, but instead my role as a stepdad is more important than ever and I have to, you know, focus on who I love and not focus on myself so I have to you know, stay focused on helping Katie and Lily and being there for both of them beyond that just the whole provider role has me stressed out right now I mean Katie's income took a big hit and now uh, my commission is potentially gonna take a big hit like I don't know it's it's been interesting like I, I thought it was like straight up like end of the world for our furniture store and it would be if we if we I mean if we close it's game over like if we close can't make commission, can't say hello to any customers if we're closed, and like unfortunately we're kind of close to that, um, but you know yesterday for example we had a lot of guests at the front door, um, not a lot a lot, but I mean like compared to like a snowy day in January with a Packer game on, like I mean we had way more customers than a Packer, game, Packer day Sunday. Um, so although I was like wallowing a little bit yesterday, not in the best of mood, I, uh, in retrospect, can definitely appreciate that uh, it was good to see customers coming in. You know, we didn't, everybody had to keep their distance and, you know, make a few fun jokes about and everything, but, you know, people were buying and that's something I have to remind myself of is there's a lot of people out there that do still have reliable income. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, the service industry more than anybody has been so dramatically affected by this I mean I just can't even imagine being in a bar restaurant environment where honestly it'd be hard to assume that you ever had anything to worry about I mean you know when times are bad people drink when times are good people drink I mean it seems like a bulletproof job or slash investment to own a bar it really does I mean doesn't seem like you could really make a mistake with that. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, that's where we're at, that even bars are closed right now, and that's just crazy. I don't know, like, when it all gets back to normal, I mean, people are going to be spending so much money at the bars because, like, I mean, <laughs> it's going to boost the economy so fast because people are going to be like, yeah, yeah, we are thirsty, so. Um... So I don't know, like I'm on my way to work, um, but I needed like some like positive, you know, positive energy in my life here. So I'm down at Ulbrick where my boat launch is and I have to say, I think we 
are good for boating. I don't see any ice on Monona. Huh. Let me out to show you. I gotta get my boat out. It's the only way to make all this feel a little bit less heavy would be to enjoy some boating in the midst of all of it. Gotta get the selfie pole for this one. Mm. Never thought I'd be one using a selfie stick, but honestly, I kinda, kinda enjoy it. All right, so now we're on top of the selfie stick and I put it into super view, which is by far one of my favorite features of the GoPro. Let's turn off the Tacoma. Speaking of the Tacoma, like if things don't get better fast, that's gonna be the first sacrifice of this entire you know, down economy situation is like, I can't afford to be spending no $600 on my pickup truck a month. So that'll probably be the first thing to go. I hate to say it, because uh, you all know how much I love my truck. It's my baby. Big blue, had her since October of 2016. 55,000 miles of just having fun with her because she is a good truck. But yeah, check this out. So here we are at Oldbrook. The docks are in. These are all fresh docks, by the way, which is awesome because they were in really rough shape last year. So yeah, these are fresh docks. Check these out. Nice. Great to see the added protection for the boats. And yeah, the ice is all gone. Yeah, I'm getting my boat out. This is cool. So I think they're saying 48 degrees in sunshine tomorrow. And I'm gonna pull the boat out of the backyard. Can't say I'm gonna launch it tomorrow because there, you know, it might be some things that need to be accomplished as far as getting the motor where it needs to be at and everything. But I'm getting the boat out because there is no ice as far as I can see. That's a great thing to see. All right, well, it's back to work. Interesting. Kind of wonder what their plans are for all these. That looks like a big patio dock system. I wonder what their plans are for that. Maybe they're gonna put it along the shoreline, I don't know. All right, off to work. Meh.